Jesse did. Now, Bill, what exactly happened at the reparations assembly meeting? Or the it was it wasn't a reparations assembly meeting. They were introducing different bills, from what I understand, right? Yeah. So, and actually, wasn't too familiar with this prior to Saturday. Um, you know, honestly, it's been primarily a Democratic effort, and they've been working on the. Shout out to Blue Baggage. He said he ain't signing that shit if it comes to a desk. Malcolm X was right about the right liberals. Once again, they ain't signing nothing. Reparation got to get done through the courtroom. That's my theory on it. Even though I'm not going to put no energy into that. Uh, shout out to Tony Snow. He pointed out Johnny Cochran was going to do that shit, <laughs> and all of a sudden he died. So. <laughs> That might be the answer right there, man. If he's talking about suing for reparations and then he died, that tells you what the answer is right there, man. But I'm just showing you guys how the Republicans will be more likely to make a deal for reparations than the, the liberals. It's just because they're more business oriented. They will buy your silence. They will pay you to shut the fuck up, literally. The bills. I, That's I, what I, Donald Trump did with the Stormy Daniels bitch. He tried to pay her to shut the fuck up. That's why I said the Republicans will likely to will pay you to shut the fuck up. Had been working on them. So um, what happened was Saturday was the deadline to pass any bills in California. We have a deadline, midnight, August 31st. That's it. Everything has to be passed by that date. Yeah. So the bill, the two bills I think you're referring to by Senator Bradford, would create the reparations um, task force or reparations bureau uh, to oversee the process. And I think he had a bill to create a fund. Yes. These two bills. Damn. <laughs> they ain't even passed the bill to make the fucking task bureau. <laughs> they ain't even passed the bill to make people research the shit. <laughs> they said, fuck you niggas. We ain't even passing the bill to make a fucking research committee. Fuck you niggas. We ain't giving you niggas a goddamn thing. Damn. Passed the Senate, and um, they went to the Assembly. They got to pass both the Senate and the Assembly in California to make it to the governor. Well, my understanding is that the word came down from the governor's office to not pass the bills. He did not want the bills on his desk. Um, again mm. He said, my, oh, okay, so that, you know, word on the street. All right, Ty, all right, Tyreek got a whistleblower. Okay, this, this once again, this is some good journalism. Got to give credit where credit is due. We got a whistleblower right here. Who was who? who uh, what's his singing name? What's his singing? I got a. Uh, hold on. I got a, He said he said he got word on the street. Gavin Newsom. What the fuck is this singing name? I don't. Even, I ain't even catch his name. We gonna. I gotta look in the. In the description, uh, Bill Asaley. Uh, let's see what's going on. I just gotta see. Uh, who this is? Again, I am not in the room with the Democrats. So I don't know. I'm just telling you what what I heard happened. That's what I heard too. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't want the you know, the hot potato or the political football, whatever you want to call it, he didn't want it in his court. So he told them to, to, to not pass the bill. So um, I just, I showed up to work like normal. I knew that was one of the many bills we're, we were debating. Um, and I just want to be fully transparent with you because I think it's important that, you know, we have an honest conversation. I, I have not been supportive of the bills. Um, I had to let you know real quick. Hey, I don't support that shit, nigga. All right, real quick, so this is Tim right here, Bill Asaley, representing California's 63rd Assembly District, former local and federal prosecutor, fighting to restore common sense in Sacramento. Okay, so uh, definitely uh, done locked a lot of niggas up. <laughs> All right, so he's representing California's 63rd Assembly. So I just had to see who, the, who that uh, who he was. All right, let me uh, keep playing this all right so he letting them know yeah i was trying to pass the bill but this is what i was saying even if they don't agree with it them niggas are still willing to say hey we gotta at least it's the american way we gotta see what the public thinks about it even if i don't agree with it you know republicans are willing to say let's get this shit out the way i'm tired of this shit lingering because he knows it's going to come up again and again um liberals gonna play games with you you know and i agree with a lot of liberal policies i gotta admit I mean, but once again, I'm not really reparations. I can give a fuck either way. I'm just showing Republicans more willing to come 
even deal with this shit before you know the people niggas been behind for 80 years and i just want to be fully transparent with you because i think it's important that you know we have an honest conversation i i have not been supportive of the bills um uh to date i mean i i think it's a conversation we should have because i don't know that i have a full understanding of what the um reparations process would look like and and all that stuff but I just want to put that to the side for a minute. We're happy to have that conversation separately, but I want to just talk about what happened Saturday, which is I saw a bunch of um, frustrated Americans in the Capitol. They were in the Capitol. They were mad as hell. And they mm, were- called them Americans. Oh, that's a real American. He, he didn't say he ain't say black. I didn't see color. He said, I, I saw them as Americans. Uh Oh, he said, those are, those are, those are those Americans are not, are not satisfied with the process. Oh, he, he believes in the process. He still he believes in the system. Good still. Okay. They were, felt betrayed, and so I talked to a couple of them. Like, what's what's going on? You know, what's going on? They told me that they've been working on this reparations bills. I think one of them is um, uh, Camila. Come on, um, yeah, Camila the, Moore. Camila Moore. Camila Moore. She was the attorney. She told me she was on the task force and that the Democrats were now ignoring them, refusing to put the bills up for a vote, wouldn't talk to them. Mm, The Democrats said, fuck them niggas. They started ignoring the call, blocked them niggas. They called, sorry, your your call cannot be completed. Please try again. Sorry, this phone has been disconnected. What do they say when the phone been blocked? Or if we got an Android, go voice, go straight to voicemail. Please leave a message after after the beep. That's how you know somebody blocked you on Android. You call them. Please leave a message after. Don't even ring. Them niggas blocked them niggas. They say, yo, we hey, nigga, we finna fund these immigrants. Fuck that. They got a check. We're walking by them, mocking them, and I just thought I thought that was rude and disrespectful. So they asked me if I would put the bill up for a vote, and you know I thought I thought about it, and I said, you know what? Even if I don't agree with it, we, this is a deliberative body. We should have the conversation. We should have a debate, a debate, and we should take a vote so we know where everyone stands on the issue, and then we have an election in two months, and then people know who stands for what, and you can vote accordingly, and the whole thing. So I'm in favor of of having the debate and discussing it and taking. Mm, so this nigga was willing to put it up for a vote, and that's why they didn't want. So he was willing to put the shit up, like, hey, let's get a vote. Fuck it, let's hey, let's let's see what it is. Mm, and that would have been some shit right there, cause they they damn. It sound like a conspiracy now. See, it sound like it sound. In the vote, but uh, the only way there was a lot of games played, so. I tried to bring it up just in regular order. They said I was out of order. Uh, we're not taking that bill up right now. So I said, okay, fine. I'll make a motion to take the bill up. And they said, well, you need a second. Uh, a second just means that one other member of the assembly has to join your motion. And then we would take it up for a vote. And not one person would would agree to take it up with me. And then they later, they pulled the bill. I was going to try it a third time, to be honest with you. And then they moved the bill to the inactive file, which really caught me off guard. I tried to challenge in the moment, but they didn't let me. The only way you can move a bill to the inactive file is if the author requests the bill to be moved into the inactive file. It's under our rules. Come to find so that was over here maneuvering, trying to get the bill. So he giving all the secrets. So this nigga, yeah, they might murk this nigga. He giving away all the, uh, he giving away what happened and all type of shit and uh he talking about uh oh shit okay he giving away all the secrets out they did that without the senator's um consent or permission so they just did it because they didn't want me to be able to keep trying to to bring the bill up so that's the long story you know short i guess short version of the of the several hours that that transpired on saturday night um on what happened with the bills Wow, that's interesting. Um, so none of the Democrats that were there who were supposed to be stumping for this bill, nobody seconded your motion at all. No, and in fact, when I brought up, when I stood up to make the request, there was like a 10 minute pause because they didn't know what to do. And I had a lot of members come up to me and just beg me to not do this. Mm. Please don't do this, please. 
you, you know, they said I was going to be endangering other members. They're getting threats on their lives. And I'm mm, they're getting threats. Who's threatening like their life? Who is threatening? Is that is that the higher power? Is that the is that the shadow government? That got me thinking. Like, is it is it a uh, is that the motherfucking um uh, what you call it uh what's that called the people who really run the gut the hidden hand? I was just curious, like, why the fuck you know who's threatening their life? He's talking about he's talking about the other politicians were saying they getting threats on their life and all type of shit. Like, damn, like it's who it's who. Who is making threats? This a this a whist, this nigga really a whistleblower if you really think about it. He really a whistleblower. Going to be, you know, responsible for that. I just don't, you know. I I think we're all mature adults as politics. If if someone's making threats, then you know we have law enforcement to deal with that. But I'm not going to chill my my speech and what I'm going to do based on what some crazy person does out there. I mean. So I don't know. That stuff doesn't work with me, but they try to they try to emotionally ma- manipulate me first. And then when they saw that I was not going to back down, um, then they just kind of hunkered down and came up with this other strategy to, to, to get rid of the bills by moving them to the inactive file. Yeah. Now, as you said, I've seen some of your tweets in the past and you seem like you uh, were basically against reparations to a certain degree. Um, mm-hmm. So people would ask if you were in the past against reparations, why would you push to move the bill forward from a personal standpoint? Well, from a personal standpoint, I would say there's two things. One is I think reparations is a is a very broad term. So um, I guess we, we can have specific conversations. I'm not against making investments in our community, uh, in, in particular communities or disadvantaged communities or what, whatever that looks like. I think Republicans have a lot of ideas of how to deal with some of the past um, inequalities and, and, uh, you know, stuff that's happened and how do we, how do we write that? How do we invest in the right place? So I think there's other ideas Republicans are. So yeah, wait, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with that. I'm not with giving you niggas cash. It just is what it is. Sorry. Uh, I'm not with giving you niggas, but, but I was just, when I seen the video, once again, I was just seeing how like, damn, he's talking about niggas lives was threatened. And, you know, he was talking about how niggas, uh, uh, what should we call it? I, I niggas are talking about they hey don't pass the bill like they gonna it, if blood's gonna be on your hands I was like damn like the fuck like what the hell was going on what's going on at the at the government level where they were they trying to tell this nigga like hey you know your your um <clears throat> it's, it's something in you know you know you know the, What's going on up here? Like, it's like, damn, it's Illuminati threatening these niggas, you know? Like, who knows? Anyway, so I seen this shit, man, and I was just like, uh, you know, like, god damn, that sounds like somebody might really be against this, you know, if it's real, you know, if if you know if if the, what he's saying is real, but it sounds like uh, somebody really don't want this shit passed. They're open to like school vouchers, you know, so people can. Yeah, we give you niggas school vouchers, you know, send you to the school down the street to the white people's school. And send their kids to private school instead of the failing public school. The other thing that really got me, and I'm going to be honest with you, this body, this legislature, voted this year to spend billions of dollars on illegal immigrants. Mm-hmm. Healthcare, universal, free, unlimited healthcare. Anybody can show up here day one, and they're going to get free universal healthcare. That cost us $5 billion just this year to implement. Then they voted for this down payment assistance. So illegal immigrants would be able to get up to $150,000 for down payment assistance to buy a home. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be honest with you. If the question to me was, would I rather spend the five billion on illegal immigrants or spend it on, uh, you know, on Americans here on this reparations thing, I think I'd probably, I'd probably give it to the Americans. I'll just be honest with you. So uh, I don't run the place, so I'm in a unique position. You know, I don't get to make the policies. I get to kind of just, you know, challenge things that I see come up when I see things that are wrong, speak up. And yeah, so once again, like, he just basically, I'll play a little bit more, but he was just, I'm just showing like, damn, it was, uh, it was the Republicans trying to get that shit passed. Let's play a little bit more, they want to keep it pushing. 